What's up everybody and welcome to Northeast Preparedness and Outdoors. Today we're going to take a look at the VanQuest FTIM 5x7 Maximizer Pouch and what I carry in it. So stay tuned and check out the intro. What's up everyone, welcome back to all my returning subscribers and to all that are new here, welcome to the channel. Hopefully you enjoy this video enough to consider subscribing and checking out my future content and also giving my past uploads a look. So what I have for you today is the VanQuest FTIM 5x7 Maximizer Pouch. FTIM stands for Fast Totally Integrated Maximizer. The external dimensions of this pouch are roughly 7.5 inches high, 6 inches wide, and about 2 inches deep depending on how full you fill it. Looking at the front, we have a hook and loop field for your morale patches and a good sized pocket that's held closed with Velcro. The zippers on the 5x7 Maximizer are number 8 YKK locking zippers and they have VanQuest Spartan poles. Around the back, they have included some Molly for attaching this to other packs or for attaching some other gear to this. And they've also included a very sturdy grab handle. And finally, on the sides, we have even more Molly attachment points, as well as a couple of Velcro loops for attaching a carrying strap or other gear. The bag itself is made of 500D military grade Cordura nylon, and it's coated with DWP, or durable water protection. What's nice about the bag is that it can easily clamshell open and give you quick and really easy access to all of your contents inside. The internal dimensions of the 5x7 Maximizer are 7 inches high, 5.5 and inches wide, and 1.5 and inches deep. We have 24 horizontal and vertical elastic channels that hold all of your gear securely in place. You also have a two-way key keeper and two large pockets. Now that we've seen all the specifications, let's take a look at what I carry in mine. Starting on the outside, I have a small bottle of Germex. And in the Velcro pouch, I have an emergency Mylar blanket. Moving to the inside, I have a small first aid kit with just some gauze and band-aids. I have some medication, some Tylenol, and some allergy pills. Bic Mini, some chapstick, small knife sharpener, some duct tape wrapped around a piece of a pen. This is a few feet of electrical tape also wrapped around a piece of a pen. Some first aid tape, a signaling whistle, a small Gerber multi tool, some Tinder Quicks. My Olight 3E EOS. About 20 feet of red paracord. A compass. A rain poncho. Some hand warmers, some more Gorilla Tape, an SOL emergency blanket, 
some moleskin. On the side, I have a Frontier water filter. I have a signal mirror. On the other side, I have a space pen. A fire steel. Have a Fresno lens. Some aqua tabs. A one liter water bag to go with the aqua tabs. And a glow stick. That's the complete contents of what I carry in here. There is plenty of extra room in here, so I'm sure I'm going to be adding much more to it in the future. So this is the complete contents of my VanQuest FTIM 5x7 Maximizer pouch. As you can see, I did cover all five C's of survivability. I have combustion in the form of the Ferrocerium rod, the Bic lighter, the Quick Tinder, and the Fresno lens. I have cordage in the form of the paracord and the tape, cover in the form of the SOL emergency blanket, the regular Mylar emergency blanket, and the rain poncho. I have a container in the form of the water bag with also the aqua tabs and the water filter. And I have cutting in the form of the multi-tool and the sharpener for the multi-tool. I also did include some signaling in the form of the glow stick, the whistle, and the emergency mirror, land navigation with the compass, and then first aid in the form of the small first aid kit, the chapstick, the medication, the moleskin, and the hand warmers. I'm finding that I like the VanQuest Maximizer pouches a lot more than I like the Maxpedition Organizer pouches. The VanQuest pouches seem to hold a little bit more gear and they hold them in a way where you can get to them a little bit quicker. The organization just seems a little bit better to me. This kit was thrown together really quick when I received the bag the other day in the mail, so I intend for it to be evolving a lot more over the next couple of weeks and months. So I'm sure you're going to see another video on this real soon. If there's anything that you would change about what I'm carrying in here, definitely let me know in the comments below. I'm always open to suggestions. And as always, if you enjoyed this video, definitely leave it a thumbs up. If you didn't, leave it a thumbs down. Please consider subscribing to the channel if you haven't already, and I'll see you in the next video.